What's up, boo? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a great day. And if you're new to my channel, welcome to the dark side. Because I have some brand new Sims 4 mods to show you. It's the first video of August. So happy August. I know you haven't seen me in a minute. I'm taking some time to myself. As you know, shit happens. It be like that sometimes. But anyway, moving on. There are a good chunk of mods in this video. So I hope you guys enjoy them. Don't forget to like and subscribe to your girl's channel if you haven't already because it does help the channel grow and of course i like mods you like mods you want to keep getting mods so yeah it, it's you know it stands for itself but we're gonna go ahead and just jump right in because my sim for some reason is ice skating in a bikini well not a bikini but it's her swimsuit i mean you know what it'd be like that sometimes but i'm actually gonna take her home because the first one i want to show you guys actually involves build by mode it's a game changer the fact i was saying this a long time ago that i wish this happened and then here we go here is the mod it's it's like I was just bringing it into existence. No, I lied. The creator is already working on this mod, and a lot of people want it. So I am talking about the expandable build by mode from Twisted Mexi. So, but if you don't know who Twisted Mexi is, they're the person behind it, behind a few mods that we enjoy, including the tool mod. So they made it easier for us to see the build by catalog just expandable, and all you have to do is press tilde. Lily, watch. Ooh. Bam. Bam. Look at that. It's expandable. Somebody did point out in the comments of the Patreon post. It is Patreon only currently. I'm pretty sure it will be out later on. That's how Twisted Mexico rolls. That's how majority of people roll. Not every keyboard, especially those down in the US, has a tilde key. If you did if you did not know, the key next to the number one on your keyboard, the little squiggly line. That's called a tilde. You just learned something today. If you learned nothing else from my channel today, you learned the word tilde and what that squiggly that is. It's called a tilde. They said the key to activate this expendable build my feature build by feature will always be above the tab key. Bam! Look at this. Look at it. Look at it. It's expandable. Like holy shit. Like we love that. I'm here for it, you know, I'm, I'm not mad at it. Let me see, let's go to a pack. Let's go to Eco Lifestyle. How much you got in this pack when it comes to items with this? Like, oh my God. Oh, we're back on show all, Never mind. again. Anyway, I don't know what I'm talking about. But yeah, that is the expandable build by catalog. Amazing game changer, we love it. There was an update when this came out. So if you don't, you know, if you download when it first came out, make sure you have the updated version. Uh, because there was some floating element issues, but for the most part, we love it. We stand. We're keeping it. Love her. Okay, let's go ahead to the next mod. All right, the next mod is from Icy Play Sims. They are a new mod creator, and they reached out to me asking if I wanted to review their mod. And of course, you know, I said yes. They created a mod that actually enhances a few of the buffs that happen in your Sims' lives. Now, they're, they focus on a select few, so it's not a complete overhaul, but it's a select few. So we'll go ahead, I'm going to show you like a few of them real quick. So I'm going to have my Sim get pregnant because I really want, because the pregnancy one actually surprised me. I actually enjoyed that one. So let me go ahead and make a pregnant real quick. Start a pregnancy. Yeah, cool. Some guy. I don't know. Like, I'm going to give it like six kids. Cool. Uh, no, it said three. Like, sis. <laughs> your, your stomach cannot hold six. Oh, well. It'd be like that sometimes. But anyway. Anyway. So we have the buff now. And it says, congrats, baby mama. For trying for baby. Now that you're pregnant, you need to start taking real care of your mental and physical health. Make sure you take some time out to get the spa or have a chilled out exercise session or even sex exercise. Apparently that makes the birth easier. We have getting pregnant. There's one for getting into a relationship. There's also one where you'll be promoted. You know, you got, you got a promotion at work. The sky is the limit in this career. I had to make sure because I have so many interaction mods, so many new mods that go over buffs to make sure I had the right one. So I did look at this mod beforehand before showing it to all of you because I wanted to make sure. For those of you who are familiar with my game, you know I have a lot of mods, a lot of interaction mods in my game. And sometimes I get confusing on which one's which because they don't really say uh, who came where. As you can see, this is a, it doesn't say this comes from Icy's mod at all. It just, you know, it, it just, it's just rewritten, okay. Icy did say they didn't focus on the romantic stuff, but they will be improving the mod at a later date. It is currently Patreon, but, you know, go ahead and drop it when it becomes free to the public. At first, I was like, does this, is this part of the mod? And I'm pretty sure this is part of the mod. Unlike this one, 
you know, you have a lot here, but this is kind of like, eh, okay. But anyway, moving on. This body is currently Patreon only, but of course you can grab it, grab it, grab it once if you come straight to the public. And yeah, we're gonna go ahead and move on to the next mod. My Sam is eating a nice grilled cheese sandwich, which actually looks delicious. But the next mod is one that actually recently just came out and it's the change walk style. So this mod allows you to change your Sims' walk style in game without actually having to go into cast. Or as you can see, we got a lot here. So we have sick patient walk, sleepy walk, wade, walk and look down, blizzard walk, skate, run, regular walk. And it looks like run has a few panic run, regular, slow. There is a creation walk, their creation walk style. So feminine, goofy, perky, snooty, swagger, occult walks. Uh, looks like the scarecrow, the ghost. Um, I'm actually going to make her do, actually, let's do the ghost float regular. And I'm going to have her move over here. Let's, let's, let's test out this mod. And yeah, she's floating. She, she, she just floated, you know? Change walk style, create some walk style, swagger walk. Okay, go here. Okay, it looks like she's doing a swagger walk. She's doing a swagger walk. So yeah, it does work. I think it was just, you know, a too confined space and it wasn't really working. But yeah, go ahead and check out this mod. It is free. It's from Mod The Sims. And you guys should enjoy it. And, all right, the next mod I'm going to show y'all actually kind of needs me to just read it out to you because it's going to be hard to really show you because it's one of those mods that has more of a backbone. And it's the Sims Spawn Overhaul from Law 3 Ho. I probably butchered that name but if you're familiar with my cast background my old cast backgrounds where I had you know the night time this is the same creator and they made a mod that you know fixes the sim spawns if you don't know me well we're about to go ahead they said this is a product that has been in my mind for more than a year and I'm happy to finally be able to post it it overhauls how the game chooses what sims to spawn in multiple situations there are multiple packages so check the description below so there is the walk-bys, the venue sims, the service sims, the smarter walk-bys and pets, venue changes, and then other compatibility, you know, with mods. So when it goes by walk-by sims, are now walk always sims from the current world. You will no longer see Bella Goss going all the way to Brillance Bay for a morning job. This also means you might see less walk-bys depending on how many sims are currently living in the world. To be honest, this always irks me. Like, why? You just got eco lifestyle. Why am I seeing, like, Victor Fong here, you know? Walk-by sims prefer to wear their everyday outfits instead of randomly generated ones. Venue sims. When choosing sims to visit the current venue, the game will prefer sims from the current world, but will not prevent sims from other worlds from visiting, except for gyms, libraries, and community spaces. These will only spawn sims from the current world. Service sims, like bartenders and stallers, will always be homeless. They will also be immune to weather and have all their motives locked. Uh, and smaller walk bys. Walk bys will no longer spawn if anything's worse than a light rain slash snow outside. So yeah, I highly suggest you go download this mod just for the simple fact that it kind of fixes um the the spawns for the world, especially if you're annoyed by seeing Sims who should not be there like at all. So I highly suggest you go download this mod and test it out for yourselves in your game. All right, so another mod tell you guys or show you guys is the sim ants mod from a flurb inspired in part by the original sims game sim ant pesky fire ants will now spawn on your sims's lawn i made this mod a spider project as a side project to learn more about how objects work and how many ideas for future updates all right you're gonna need xml injector if the season is spring or summer there'll be a chance fire ants may appear in your sims's lawns now it's not summer clearly it's not for me but we can see from the photos, the ants are really here. Your sims look like they can fumigate. Oh my god, why, why, why are there so many ants? Okay, if you're not particular to ants, it's maybe the model for you. Uh, but children sims have the ability to talk and make friends with the ant mounds, and childish are sane sims too. Or they can make ant mounds mad into enemies, made into enemies with other social interactions. I wonder, well it says a Pacific sim can do that. Yeah, Pacific sims can... Really? Y'all fighting out here? Really? I'm trying to discuss fire ants and y'all out here. Okay, goodbye. Anyway, moving on. A little quirk. If you are playing in the winter and the season changes to spring, as of right now, the mod won't turn itself on until the lot is reloaded. If you play like me, your cells will probably visit other places frequently, so this may not be an issue at all. It came out on the 3rd, not too long ago, like literally a day ago. So, 
make sure you guys go and check this out if you want ants. If you don't want ants, then you know what? You ain't gotta have ants. And for the last mod, now this is a mod I kind of did already, but there was an issue with it. I'm talking about the bunk beds from Panda Sama over on Patreon. This mod is free, FYI, even though it's only on Patreon. You guys are on the trails. Okay, it's free. But the bunk beds didn't allow children to use them, which is kind of like the purpose of a bunk bed. So right now, Pan Sam is saying this new version allows your children to use them and clearly have a child sim. I just clicked on sleep and they're about to go up here. What made this a really nice mod was because the animations matched. Now, hopefully, now let's see how this works. And yep, it works. He's in the bed. He's good to go. And he's asleep. Like, literally, it works. This bed does need to be constructed. I'm actually going to have him come down. Um, oh, and that was a nice animation right there. That was a big ass robot. But I'm going to have him sleep here. We're going to see if this, how this works. And it works. Okay. So what you need to do in order to make this work is you would have to make sure you got both pieces. So this comes with two different types of frames. This one looks like it has something for storage. And this one doesn't have anything for storage. And then it comes with the top bunk uh bed and then it comes with the bottom bunk bed and then it comes with the bottom bunk frame so yeah so it comes with uh one two three four four pieces you may see some people have a desk underneath here if you come to any issues where it doesn't work try moving the desk and make sure everything is kind of lined up just a quick fyi but for the most part this mod does work it does work for kids and i highly suggest you go and download this mod right now especially if you've been wanting bunk beds for your kids because they're not too shabby and they do come in some nice colors uh let's see this is that oh that looks nice that looks very nice uh and i think there was some added swatches like this blue and that blue maybe like a different color uh yeah that, that looks nice okay that really does look nice but yeah that is the end of this video i hope you guys enjoyed don't forget to like and subscribe to your girls channel and i will see y'all next time bye bye